Hey, Tom, five, you're good to go. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. All right, we will call this October 20th, 2020 meeting of the Lawrence County Commissioners to order. All right, would all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a brief moment of silence. Dawn, would you lead us in the pledge? Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. all please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele, Here. Commissioner Bogle. Here. Commissioner Boyd. Here. We have quorum. I will note that we are being recorded both on our live stream, which is going out to YouTube for public consumption and internally uh, for our own purposes and compiling the minutes. Our row officer reports and comments. Looking out at the audience today, I'm not seeing any rows. Um, so I'll assume there are no row officer reports and comments. Um, public comments. <laughs> Is there anyone from the public that wishes to address the board? Seeing none, uh, we have no advertising for bids and proposals, no receipt of bids and proposals, no fiscal reports, no report on quotes, just a warrant registered dated October 14, 2020. I'll give my colleagues a minute to look that over and take a motion to accept the warrant register. I will move to accept. Looks like we paid out a lot of fosters. Yes. I'll second the motion. Thank you. We have a motion to second. Is there any discussion here? None. Question of the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, the same sign. Motion carries. Up next, we have uh, no written communications for today. We do have minutes. From Tuesday, October 13th, and again, I'll get my colleagues and look those over and take a motion to approve the minutes. I'll move for their adoption. Second. Hearing a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, question on the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carries, minutes pass. Uh, we have no proclamations or certificates for today. Um, staff reports, is there any member of staff here today that has anything to report above and beyond what's already on the agenda? Seeing none, we'll move on to commissioner reports and comments. Dan, you're on deck first today. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll be brief. I may as well make my comments now rather than later because we, we will be acting on a uh, letter of resignation from uh, Dawn Vicari, uh, who resides in Elwood City Borough. Dawn has served on, he's going to be stepping down from the Lawrence County Planning Commission. And uh, I've known Dawn for many, many years. Uh, Dawn is a, is a true public servant. He served on Elwood City Borough Council for a long time. He was actually the borough manager down there for a number of years. And uh, his, uh, his primary employment was with the Elwood City Ledger. He was in the advertising department. In fact, I think he headed the advertising department for many years, the Elwood City Ledger. He's a fine, fine person. He's very active in the uh, historical society down there. And uh, the thing I respect most about Dawn is I would call Dom an idea man. He's always thinking and always proposing various uh, concepts and ideas. And uh, hate to see him leave the uh, planning commission, but uh, thank him for uh, his many years of service. And we wish him uh, good health. I think that's the most important thing is that we wish Dom good health. So thank you for letting me uh, make those comments. That's all I have. Absolutely, thank you. Um, most of my comments, questions, concerns are election related, so I'll save them for the, uh, the election board meeting immediately following this. Um, that's taken up a, a lot of our time recently, just making sure the election's administered um, in a safe, efficient, and efficient way. Um, but yeah, I'll reserve my comments till the next meeting, which is election board immediately after this. Loretta? And I will do the same. There we go. Have a 
I will do that. Is the census yes. officially closed out? It's a, it's closed out. Yes, it is. It is closed out. There we go. On the fifteenth last week, it, it, uh, it was officially done. Yeah, yes. I filled mine out four times, so we're going to get four oh, times. Okay. <laughs> All right. Good. Let's hope that everybody did. I didn't get a final statistic on where we um, Lawrence County landed in the Commonwealth as well as um, across. The, the United States. So we'll see. Hopefully, we get our share fair of funding, twenty one hundred dollars a person. You were joking, weren't you? Hmm? You were just joking. So actually, <laughs> uh, I found out mine once. I thank God he does. two other people that live it also filled one out. So I assume there's a way to cancel those out. If there's not, we're gonna get a little bit more money. <laughs> 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 oh. yes. All right, thank you. All right. All right, on to the new resolution section of the agenda. Um, first on deck today, we have uh, Becky with the Planning Department for resolution of discussions of possible approval for CDBG funding um, for Shenango Township, Union Township, and Elwood City Borough. Becky, how are you doing today? Good. How are you guys? Doing good. Yeah. What do we have going on today? Well, we have CDBG for 2020. Um, actually, 2021. Sorry. <laughs> uh, this is our amount that we get for the um, entitlements plus the county. Um, all of them have passed their resolutions. One was both of them were last. One was last night. Two were last week. Last night was um, Elwood City, I believe. So the entitle the, ent the entire amount is six hundred twenty-eight thousand six six six, and of that. The county portion is 268, 377, which we are doing rehab and of course admin. Um, the union, I believe, is what do we have? Shenango is the 128803, and they are doing um, streets, not street, but the um, barriers removal. What is that? What is that? So it's a removal barrier protection. Is that are they taking the fences down? Yeah. Well, I think they're they're implementing um, for you know lower income areas, but in order to get into the building, there are some areas that need. It doesn't have to everybody. It's not you. Not do that. <laughs> <laughs> that does have to everybody. We got to get another mic stand. Anyway, so that's in order for them to get into the building. So it's like a it's like a ADA handicap accessibility. ADA accessibility. Oh, so in other words, not just architectural, but not removal of architectural yeah, no, no, barriers. No, it's not like they're tearing down a brick wall. No, they're just no. making it making better it. accessible for individuals exactly. who otherwise wouldn't be able to access it. Exactly. Gotcha. Yes. And then Union again is doing rehab. Um, their portion. That's and housing rehab. Housing rehab. Mm -hmm. Yes. And for Elwood City, we're doing three street improvements, small and the LMI section of Elwood City. So there will be three, three different ones for that. What's the LMI section? Do you know? It is the there's a section that goes by income. Yeah. Um, that is targeted. Uh, all the others do not meet the criteria, but a, a small portion of but Elwood City. Do you know which which part of the city? It is Lawrence Avenue. It's Lawrence Avenue. I know Lawrence, and then it spreads just where um, it was Bell Avenue up to Border. It's a very very small section, yeah. but yeah, I, there is a map that shows exactly. I'm a little bit confused. Lawrence Avenue is a state maintained highway. Well, uh, the streets, the other yeah, ones yeah, you yeah. mentioned, the are the streets. The, the outlying okay. uh, target mm -hmm. meets the LMI. So but but uh, help me out here. The <laughs> borough, will, I'm assuming, is not going to be doing work on Lawrence Avenue because no 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 no. Okay, I'm trying to get like you know where where you're at in Elwood City. Right, I'm not all that familiar. Right, but right. Lawrence that it spreads out of you know like a, like a target. Okay, so, so these are streets or roads near near Lawrence uh, Avenue. near Lawrence Avenue. Yes, it's okay. because you got your municipal voting sitting on Lawrence. Is kind of the back side of that right. building area. That's right. Bell Avenue. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, right. right. Okay. So that's how it kind of. Okay. That's and and that's a little, that's Bell Avenue is a little misleading because it's essentially an alley. It's not a, a full fledged mm -hmm. avenue, mm -hmm. but it's called Bell Avenue. Yeah. Okay. That's how I remember Lawrence. There you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so um, that's what's going on. We have to have it in by the 28th. So, um, 
we'll probably hear, you know, after that. And we're devoting just to, we're devoting our full allocation minus the administrative transfer to yeah. uh, rehab, exactly. housing rehab. Housing rehab. For our okay. non-entitlement. Non-entitlement. Correct. Excellent. Which are all of the other municipalities in the county except mm -hmm. the city of Newcastle, which gets its own money right. from right. CDBG. And then Shenango and Union and Elwood are the entitlements. Mm -hmm. And that's in addition to the housing rehab we do through our home program. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Any okay. other? I'm still trying to get all the grants straight. Oh, I know. I got Oh. Like, thanks, Amy, for throwing me in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah. Well, I, I see no questions from the board. I see this is, is uh, having a 99.999% percent chance of passing. Right. Okay. Um, so if you want to take off, you're welcome to take yeah. off. All right. Thank you're you welcome. so much. Thank you. Sure. Right. What resolution will this be? 313. 313. 313. Thanks, Rebecca. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Up next, Jeff Parrish with Public Safety. This is probably a big number. No, no, no. Um, he said no. No, he's not. No. But you have to understand, with you know, his consideration of what our huge numbers are. Well, only only no, six-digit uh, numbers. Yeah, only a hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm only a four-digit number today, so I'm going to go first. <laughs> that has to be a monthly payment then. Yeah. Believe it or not, it's an annual payment. So okay. <laughs> What this is for, it is for our, um, it is to go to Onsolve LLC, which uh, is our code red uh, emergency notification platform that we piggyback on the state contract with that we've had for several years. That for an emergency you know, notification or anything right. like that, it's, that, um, it's what we utilize. So um, it's just our annual contract that's due the first of the year. We try to do it a little bit ahead of time. Uh, we try to get a contract here in the summer. So the, the code red does that give us the ability at LEOC to push out notifications? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we can do that ourselves. Mm -hmm. No, you can't, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I was going to say it's going to be one hell of April Fool's Day. No. <laughs> you. <can't help> <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> but it is what, what it does. It, it's actually. Um, We've always had a, a, a we sort of call it the reverse 901 at times too. We can actually, uh, with this new software, we can pick out a geographical region. We've utilized it several times for accidents on 422 when it's been closed out for a long period of time. We'll draw a geofence around that area and we can send a word out. And if you have the app on the phone, a lot of times it'll come out to, to know that that area is closed. So, another question. So if we had something going on at the courthouse, like say a fire drum, could we technically could we geofence the courthouse in and say fire drum? We have um, and we have all the department heads built into it for a notification. Uh, we have not done it yet because we're still working on our evacuation plan and stuff. But that is part of it. Yes, um, you could do it any any point in any geofence. You could make it within a block. You could make it a mile. You, you make it like one block. specific house. Yeah. Yes, close to it. Yeah. I'm just thinking yeah. of all the applications. But no, we're not going to give you that. <laughs> 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 I said, look at me. <laughs> 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 but it is, it, it's a very nice system that we utilize it up for Beaver Valley exercise and things like that. We will probably be doing our annual test um, probably later on, either the end of this month or in November. Uh, we try to, they give us three minutes every year that we can go do testing. Um, we just, what that does is it actually scrubs the database. Um, old numbers will go away because there's constant numbers are always being added, mm -hmm. so it, it, it picks up a lot of that stuff. But people can also go onto the website and subscribe to it so that they have it on their phone. They don't automatically get it. You have to subscribe to it um, if you want to get the other notifications and stuff on your phone. So. Very good. Excellent. And that is it. Excellent work as always. Any questions from? Yeah. All right. This is a pretty easy one, too. I'm surprised it's only seven grand. Yeah, it made a big difference. Like, so we think you back along with the state. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the price went down pretty good from what we were there before. So. Make that resolution 2020 314. Imagine it'll probably go through. So you're welcome to stick around for the vote if you want to. I'll uh, come back up for I got a couple other meetings. And the thank you. Thank you for the continuous right, updates you. as well. I think so. Thank thank you. Right, take care. Uh, I copied and pasted it from an old one, so it already had a number. I forgot to take it off. Uh -huh. So just ignore that 261 that's at the top. Okay, make it 315. Yeah, it'll be 315. 
Now, this is the resolution that Commissioner Vogler yeah. referenced earlier, earlier with regard to Dom DeCary. Um, Dan, I think you, you covered you know, his significant contribution to the county um, earlier, but if anybody else wants or if you want to reiterate or say any more, any more words, um, I'll open that floor up for you. Thank you. Right, just, just the same, being an uh, implant, I guess, to Elwood City, working, you know, working there and being there. He was always a, uh, a positive, positive uh, force for Elwood City. Always there telling Elwood City, why not Elwood City? Elwood City, it's Elwood City, this is what we do here, this is what we have here. So he'll, he'll certainly be missed in, in, in all of those arenas as well as, um, as, well as planning. Well, unless there's any objection, make that resolution 2020-315. Um, up next, resolution 2020-316. Uh, these are our fire company awards um, for eligible fire companies who apply for um, CARES Act funding through Lawrence County. Um, I'll note these fire companies are Union Township, Shenango Township, um, uh, South Newcastle Borough, uh, New Beaver Borough, Scott Township, Hickory Township, Slippery Rock Township, Bullion Borough, Wartenburg Perry, um, Wampum Borough, and Wayne Township. Um, we're awarding total $250,000 to these fire departments. Um, I will note that based on federal law, we were only able to give CARES grants two fire departments, which are 501C3s and 501C19s. So there were a number of fire departments um, that applied for a CARES grant, but based on federal law, we were unable to provide them with any money, which is unfortunate um, right. because I think if, if you know we were in a position where we had full discretion over where this money goes, we would opt um, to give grants to all of our fire departments, not just the ones that qualified under the narrow federal um, regulations. Um, that being said, I think we are happy to, happy to help out where we can um, with these with these fire companies. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully this helps keep the ones that we were able to give in a sustainable position um, moving into next year. Right. Any comments, questions from my colleagues? I, I would just say that, that many of them were hit very hard as far as fundraising activities for the departments whether it was a bingo or uh, fish fry or you know, any different types of activities that they had. So I know that it was certainly something that um, those that could have it were, were um, ready to, to um, fill out those applications and, and get the money back in the coffers because they do need it. So glad to be able to do that. And I concur with Morgan's comments. I think if, if we had the authority right. and the ability, uh, we would have honored the requests of all of the departments, and uh, we have to adhere to and abide by the uh, federal laws and regulations. One minor note, if, if you don't mind, Mr. Chairman, can we make on the actual resolution itself, and I realize the attachment is correct, but on the printed resolution, could we add the word township after Slippery Rock number seven, so that that's not confusing with, let's say, Slippery Rock Borough, right. which is in Butler County. But if you don't mind, could we add the word township? If you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Um, but I'll note, I'll note the amounts um, total of the companies that we were able to give to. Um, Hickory Township, uh, $19,024.16. Only at Borough, $18,189.14. Shenango Township, $54,540, uh, in no sense. Slippery Rock Township, $4,272.16. Scott Township, uh, $34,844.25. New Beaver Borough, $15,997.68. Wampum Borough, $27,393.28. Wayne Township, $22,133.77. Wurttemberg Perry, $24,544.38. And Union Township, $29,061.18. Thank you for noting that. But may I also note 
and maybe you can clarify this, on the printed resolution, uh, number three lists South Newcastle, uh, I think I'm answering my own question. It says South Newcastle Borough on the resolution. They have since merged with Shenango Township. Mm -hmm. So um, the resolution, I think, might be a little bit misleading since it does have it listed separately. Mm -hmm. uh, should we strike... Uh, Ron, I don't mean to put you on the spot. When they merged, when Shenango and South Newcastle Borough Fire Departments merged, mm -hmm. did they rename their fire department mm -hmm. the Shenango Area, Area. Fire, fire Department? District. District. Thank you. Yes. Should we make yes. note of that on the okay. printed resolution? I'm glad you're here today. <laughs> so should we strike item three mm -hmm. and then call that the Shenango Area Fire District? Fire District? Okay, let's do it. But yeah, to answer your question, they did combine the two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the other thing I'll note is that the, the funding uh, awards for these fire, fire companies are based on a combination of call volume um, and available funds, mm -hmm. as well as um, the total losses incurred by each of right. these uh, fire companies. So we weren't able yes. to fund these companies any more than what their loss um, amount uh, any more than what their loss amounted to. Yes. Um, but funding was determined by a combination of, of their call volumes, relative total call volumes in Lawrence County, um, available funding, $250,000, and the losses incurred by these companies, um, which exceeded total $350,000. Uh, if I could, uh, could I suggest that perhaps the departments that did not qualify based on the federal laws and guidelines that, that you've referenced. Uh, but they may want to give consideration to communicating with our federal legislators, Congressman Kelly, Senator Casey, Senator Toomey, asking perhaps that consideration be given to uh, changing those right. regulations slash laws. And that if they choose to do so, uh, perhaps we might be willing to include a letter of support from the Board of Commissioners, if that would be something that uh, mm -hmm. we'd be willing to consider. I'd be happy to do that okay. for them. Excellent. Thank you okay. very much. Okay. Any further discussion? Yeah. Make that resolution 2020-316. Uh, next one is a transfer of funds, administrative transfer, um, from Central Services uh, to maintenance materials and supplies, um, the amount of ten thousand dollars. This is due, uh, you know, due to uh, the pandemic, we've incurred um, in excess of what our normal maintenance costs would normally be. Um, that line item right now is out of funding. Um, we purchased a significant amount more plexiglass to be used in our different election precincts to make sure that those poll workers and the voters are safe and secure. Um, this fund transfer would cover. Um, those supplies. Yes. I, I'm not opposed to the proposal, but and perhaps you or Joe can help me or Loretta. Did we not receive, though, from either the Commonwealth or the federal government dollars? Are we talking? These are not general fund dollars, or are they general fund dollars? So what we what we've been doing for the federal re, federal and state reimbursements is we've been taking them out of our line items. Mm -hmm. And then using those line items, basically reimbursing, right? As opposed to just taking it directly out of the COVID fund. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for that is that we're able to run all requests directly through Andy McKinney, as opposed to having each department have basically uh, have park walk over federal funding house. But at the end of the day, the plexiglass in particular mm -hmm. is being paid for by, I believe, the Commonwealth. Am I correct? It, it, it will either be common, it'll either be CARES funding, H A B A funding, yeah. um, or there was an election grant CARES fund mm -hmm. that was right. also given. It'll be, one, it'll be reimbursed for one of those three funds. So again, at the end of the day, it's not yes. county general yeah. fund dollars. Mm -hmm. no, okay. Right. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make that unless there's any objections. Resolution 2020-317.
MHDS. We have Director Baldwin with us today. Um, resolution for discussion possible approval under an agreement with vocational and psychological services. Scott, how are you doing today? Good morning, Commissioners. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is actually a contract amendment um, with vocational psychological services from fiscal year 2019-2020. Uh, the original contracted amount was $5,000. The incurred expenses was $12,365. Uh, Vocsite performs ID and autistic testing for us. So when you see an increase like that, it's actually not a bad thing. It means that your education and your awareness are working. And we anticipate some of that flux you know, they're flexing the services there. So we had the funds set aside to cover that. It really had no impact on the budget. Okay. Questions yeah. or comments? Short and sweet. It's it. It's it is what it is. Oh, so you have no idea. Trust the guys you have in the, in the office. <laughs> Make that resolution 2020-318. Up next, we have Director Bow with CYS uh, for resolution and discussion, uh, discussion for possible approval and agreement with Bayer Foundation of uh, Pennsylvania. John, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. All right, what's going on? This is a renewal for uh, 2021. The Bayer Foundation offers placement services, foster care. The rate varies from 6381 a day up to 175 a day. Uh, last year, 35 children were served. Currently this year, this fiscal year, 22. Um, in terms of the financial breakdown, the county share is 20%. Total cost last fiscal year for this program was 497,009.96. Of that, the county paid eighty-six thousand two ninety-six and eighty-three cents. We are satisfied with with this provider. They are one of um, eight contract vendors we use for foster care along with our own program. Questions or comments? I have no questions. Yeah. Keep it short and simple. We'll make that resolution twenty twenty dash three nineteen. Okay. And you're welcome to stick around for the vote if you want to you want to take off, we understand. It's probably you're on the same boat there. If you want to stick around, you're welcome. So that was a good point. Thank you, John. Thank you, you too. John, is needs-based yes, done? Our needs-based? Yes. Done, turn it, everything. Okay. Everything's turned in. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. All right, up next we have four uh, administrative transfers. Uh, forgive me for interrupting. I apologize. I see that our district attorney has joined us, and I, I didn't know if you maybe wanted to, if he's busy today, if you want to, unless you, is this, I don't, yeah, I don't think, Josh, what's, I just came in to talk to you to catch you guys after the meeting. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, after. I was also, I was also oh, a little confused on that. No, it was just after the meeting, I figured out. Let's just say it, isn't it? What do we miss? Right, well, you know, everyone's in the same spot, so I figured I'd try and catch out. Gotcha. Yeah, if you have time. Let's wait for Wes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he just came in and just said, yeah. so I, look, I look myself on the agenda. I'm like, where's, where's the DA's office? Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. I'm glad you did. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, as we oh, have done, uh, we'll vote on these transfers in a lump sum after we yes. go through them. Uh, we'll vote to amend the agenda and vote on the resolution, assuming both of you are amounting to that. Um, first, we're transferring $5,000 from state inmate workers to jail materials and supplies. Um, this is due to the need to replace valves uh, over at the jail. Uh, there are a number of valves that do need to be replaced. Yes. Um, this just basically starts that, that valve replacement mm -hmm. process and provides the appropriate amount of funds to replace at least one or two of those valves. Yes. These are boiler yes. valves, are they not? Yes. As part of the heating yes. system, am, yes. I, am I correct? Yes. Thank you. And so they're targeting the ones that are, are uh, in most need with these dollars. Uh, next, we have tax claim, $2,000 for contracting consultants to materials and supplies. Um, I'm not seeing a, a particular reason for this. Oh, sales notices. Thank you. Um, excuse me. It's pretty straightforward, then. Mm -hmm. um, here we have twenty thousand uh, dollars from our, our liquid fuels accounts. There's not enough money in the liquid fuels account to pay 
uh, for completed projects. We get email from the controller's office regarding. So we're transferring twenty thousand dollars from Liquid Fuels Construction uh, Maintenance and Repairs to Liquid Fuels County Aid Grants. Um, also, I think pretty straightforward. May I, since we're, since we're bringing up liquid fuels, could I just very briefly note, uh, we had talked about the fact that uh, the county uh, owns and maintains 27 bridges. And as we're always quick to point out, no roads, no streets, no roads, just 27 bridges. And we've had discussions and, and we, I think, uh, informally agreed that uh, in November, uh, we're going to take a little road trip uh, with uh, Bill Humphrey, our, our, who works for Taylor yes. Engineering, our, our county engineer, and uh, drive around and, and inspect these bridges and take a look at them. And I've started to put together a little uh, itinerary, and the more I think about it, and, and we'll be talking to Bill later in the week, I'm wondering if we may have to spread this out over two days. Uh, just depends on how much time we spend at each right. bridge. But I want to make certain that you're both agreeable that sometime in November, particularly after the leaves are down, mm -hmm. and hopefully we'll have a day better than today, yes. that we're, we're still planning to do this. Yes. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I wondered also uh, if uh, it might not hurt to, to see if uh, uh, either Frank Carey and or Dana mm -hmm. Mastriani might want to join us. But something to think about. Mm -hmm. Just wanted to get that on your yes. agendas. Thank you both. Has Frank managed to buy a yacht out of that liquid fuel fund? <laughs> <Not yet. laughs> There's a prerequisite to him being allowed to officially leave the port houses. He has to figure a way to finagle a boat out of that fund. <laughs> yeah. um, lastly, two thousand dollar transfer um, from uh, Central Services Materials and Supplies to Central Services Miscellaneous um, Administration. $2,000, um, historically, um, the courthouse, or specifically uh, register and recorder, um, I believe a couple other individuals in the courthouse hold an art show, um, which they solicit donations for members of the public to give monetary prizes um, to be winners of the art show. I don't particularly know why, and I think we should change for the future, uh, but those dollars are run through the county general fund. Um, I think next year we make it its own separate funds since we're dealing with donations. Um, but this transfer is due to basically need to pay out those awards. Right. I, I don't, did, I don't think they get a monetary award for winning the show. They do? Okay. Yes, they do. All right. I know that there's plaques that are purchasing things and then we buy, or the, the program itself, if there's monies available, but maybe that's what this is, mm -hmm. this is what it's for. Okay. But I'll, I'll note okay. this is, this is not... County general fund um, no, money. It's not. This is this is money that we've taken in in donations to pay for expenses yes. and awards relating to the art show. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, yes. absolutely. But next year, yes. I would I would propose that we create a separate fund for it. I would agree. I, yes, definitely. Those are the admin transfers. Uh, Any questions, comments, on yeah. Just real quick, the, the the artwork, and we've all oh my looked around. They're 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 primarily on the main floor of the uh, new courthouse. It's phenomenal, the it artistic is. talent. I, I'm just amazed at some of the, yes. the paintings and uh, works that have been done. And I actually, I talked to Jan a couple weeks ago over, I think it was over text, um, but the individual who I, I believe won the art show actually passed away um, before they were able to officially win, no uh, kidding. win the show. So I wow. forget who that is. Um, sorry to hear that, but it's, right. you know, Um, anyway. Yeah, they're, they're spectacular this year. Oh my gosh. So I'll take a motion to approve administrative transfers A through D. So moved. Second. Your motion second. Great. Discussion? Hearing none, questions on motion all in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All the folks saying sign motion carries. <clears throat> I'll take a motion to amend the agenda to allow for voting on resolutions 2020 313 through 2020 319. So moved. Second. Hearing motion, seconds, ready discussion, hearing none. Question of motion, all in favor, please signify by saying aye, aye. aye. All opposed, same sign, motion carries. Agenda amended. Um, first on deck, resolution 2020 313. Now, that will be resolved by Lord's Bay Board of Commissioners. The county shall prepare and submit a grant with a projected amount of $628,666 to the Department of Community and Economic Development. The 
county has chosen to allocate $268,377 to following eligible project housing rehab $220,070 in non entitlement communities program administration $48,307. The county, on behalf of Shenango Township, has chosen to engage in removal of architectural barriers, barriers program administration. The county, on behalf of Union Township, has chosen to engage in housing rehabilitation program administration. The county, um, on behalf of Ellwood City Borough, has chosen to engage in street improvements and program administration. Said programs will be administered in accordance with all federal and state regulations. The Chairman and Commissioner said the authority to execute all documents required by the Commonwealth Pennsylvania pertaining to the application administration 2020. Um, that should be 2021 CDBG program. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, question motion. Yes, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. yes. Thank you. Resolution 2020-314, now that be resolved by Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, an authorization is given to execute on behalf of Lawrence County Department of Public Safety, all documents related to the on-salt LLC proposal, provides subscription-based web application services or software as a service, SAAS, uh, procurements and obviously the total amount of $7,087.50 annually. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Good motion. Second. Is there a discussion here? None. Question of the motion. Best please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Yes. Commissioner Bogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Resolution 2020-315, now that we resolved by Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, that we do hereby accept the resignation of Dominic DeCary from Lawrence County Planning Commission Board. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Do we have a motion second? Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Vanessa, please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes, with Commissioner regret. Boyd. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. I thought maybe a no for a minute there and just call out and say, oh, no, I, I, know. Know. I, I wish, I, I, wish know. You could. I know. I yeah. <laughs> know. Uh, up next, resolution 2020-316, another three years old by the Lord's County Board of Commissioners, the above mentioned volunteer fire department companies, not fired <laughs> departments. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, have been all on allocated CARES Act funding. We have a motion. So moved. Uh, second with the changes that we noted, correct? Mm -hmm. a second. Right, we have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, question the motion. Please call the roll. Commissioner Silva? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Resolution 2020 that matter will be resolved by Lawrence County Board of Commissioners. Authorization is hereby given to the appropriate administrative officials transfer total of $10,000 described in detail. The attachment designated as P 2020 017. We have a motion. Second. 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 We have a motion to second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, question the motion. Please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Resolution 2020-318, uh, now that we resolved by the Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, that it is specifically understood and agreed, stated maximum of five, wow, what a sentence, <laughs> um, of $5,000 for various services shall be adjusted to $12,365 for revised budget pages is or attached to support these changes. There is no language change to this contract. All provisions of this agreement dated July 1, 2019 between the parties shall remain here, heretofore established. We have a motion. So moved. No, I'll agree. I'm not sure if I understand, but I, I, I said agreed and understood. I don't understand, but we're going to vote for it. Motion and second. Is there any discussion? Uh, hearing none, question of the motion, best we call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Please don't screw us. <laughs> Resolution 2020-319, now that we resolved by Lawrence County Board of Commissioners, purchase service agreement will provide a fair foundation for the should be effective period of July 1, 2020 through June 30, 2021. Costs are only incurred for provider service to be used by Lawrence County Privy Green authorizations. Hereby, I'm going to execute an agreement with the following service provider, Fair Foundation Pennsylvania, 241 High Street, 1 TPA, 16142. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. The motion is second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, plus the motion, best please call the roll. Commissioner Steele Vogel? Yes. Commissioner Vogler? Yes. Commissioner Boyd? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Uh, we have no ordinances on the table for introduction or for final action. I have a couple of announcements. Next regularly scheduled commissioners meet, uh, meeting is from 10 a.m. on Tuesday, October 27th um, in this room. There's an election board meeting uh, immediately following the meeting today, the meeting on October 27th, a special one, November 2nd. Um, but on top of that, I believe they have a prison board meeting tomorrow, board tomorrow at noon. No. Am I missing anything? All right. Any additional public comments at this time? Seeing none, take a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. We have a motion to second. Is there any discussion here? None. Question of the motion. All in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Same sign. Motion carries. The Lord's County Board of Commissioners is adjourned. Okay.
Thank you. Can I have you guys for just two minutes? Absolutely. Absolutely. Turn the live stream off for you guys. Mr. Ward, thank you for being here. Hello. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Autograph, high five, that one from you. <laughs> it was a nice uh, little note you said. I don't know what you're talking about.